Hey everyone, I'm filming on a different camera right now and it's actually completely falling apart. I might need to go get another one. We are in Florida and I wanted to vlog some of this trip, but I didn't want to bring, we our like regular vlog camera is bigger, chunkier, like heavier to bring traveling. So I brought our little G7X, which is like a tiny little point and shoot camera. What we vlogged on like from the very beginning, it's a very like go-to vlog camera. We've had this one for years and just haven't needed to use it very often. I use it now for pictures but it is falling apart like the screen behind the camera is falling apart so hopefully it lasts for this trip but yes we are in florida and makai just went down for the night gabe has gone down to the lobby because we uber eats some acai bowls acai bowls so we are in the part of florida that we used to live in a couple years ago when we lived in florida and we've been visiting family we were here for gabe's dad's 60th games back with the goods so we were here for gabe's dad's 60th it was 60s themed i'll put some pictures up it was a hoot of a time it was a hoot and a half it was so much fun and like everyone was dressed up anyway so we're in the like part of town that we lived in this place plier balls was one of my favorites when we lived here we were like is it open still and so we're having a little ply balls dessert dessert rooney i'm thinking we can watch some netflix okay and netflix and chill well, what Netflix? And by chill, I mean eat our pliables. Well, Succession, so not Netflix, but I don't know if I could, we're HBO going Netflix. through Succession right now. Look how strange it is filming on this camera. That's pretty crazy. It feels so 2016. It does. If you haven't seen Succession, it's a very good show in the way that they like make it feel so believable. Yeah, it's out. about this like really rich family, but it's very like dark and deep and like depressing but it's so good sometimes we end the episodes though like like oh that was heavy but yeah, it's but very still, good it's great i want to watch it every night but then jess sometimes doesn't. i just need something happy she just needs something light to take a break anyway so we are here in florida for a couple more days well we're in the pop south florida for a couple more days and then we are catching a train up to Orlando to take Makai to Disney for the very Let's first time. Go. And I'm really curious and a little nervous to see how it goes, mostly just because of her nap. I'm trying to figure out what we do with that. Do we go in the morning, come back for a nap? Like we'd have to shuttle, shuttle back to the park. I don't know. Do we find somewhere in the park to like quietly nap? Anyway, it should be a lot of fun. We're going with my bestie Jess and it's gonna be so cute. When she first met Makaya at like three weeks old or something, maybe four weeks old, she brought Makaya a little Minnie Mouse toy. You know, that's the, the Minnie Mouse that she has. The one that she's playing with? Is the one that Jess. Oh my gosh, why her. did I forget that? And she she's sleeping with it right now. Like she loves Minnie Mouse. She doesn't really know Minnie Mouse other than the toy. And I don't know how she knows Minnie Mouse. Books maybe? Yeah, her shirts. She has a few shirts. Too. Yeah, she does have a few shirts. So I started to show her some videos of like Minnie Mouse Bro, in the why park. Are you to oh, sorry. I think you'd want to be in it because you're like half out. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, it's just cold. So I'm like, Ugh. I've been showing her some videos on YouTube of Minnie like dancing around the park and stuff, and she goes, Minnie Mouse. Like she gets really excited. I can't wait to take her. And remember, we used to say, oh, like people take their kids so young to Disney, and like we are taking her. But then you become a parent and you realize that like it's a family experience. Well, I heard this one thing that people always say, like, oh, you can't, don't take your kids to Disneyland or crazy places like that to spend the money. They're not even gonna remember it anyways. Yeah. And you're like, so what are you gonna do? Lock them in a box for the first four years of their life? until they can remember things and then you take them places? I think that was Nate Bogatsy. Probably. But it's like, oh, that's so true. Well, like you're not going to let them hang out. Like they're hanging, she was hanging out with her cousins today. She's just not going to hang out with her cousins because she's not going to remember it. Like that's dumb. Yeah, you know I know. I mean? Our mindset did change mm -hmm. after having her. Although she's a year and a half, I I think this is a good time to first take her. I, I wouldn't have really taken her before then. It's like understanding more. She loves Minnie Mouse. Like I think, I hope it'll be really fun. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'll show you my plier bowl and then we'll watch success. Ooh, I got like a banana base. That looks so good. And then, do you know what I got Nutella? I got banana, strawberry, blueberry, chia seeds, and Nutella. This is so zoomed in. Are you okay? The face you made. No. <laughs> okay. Anyway, cheers. Welcome to Florida, everybody. And we're gonna watch Succession. Where it's nice and humid. Also, we got a um like a suite. I'm not gonna give you a full tour right now, but like little dining area. We're in the living area. That's a kitchen behind there. There's Gabe's feet. 
bedroom is back here bathrooms over there i don't know if this one's bigger than usual because we're in an accessible room this suite is massive traveling sometimes it doesn't work out because the hotel doesn't have a suite option or it's like way more expensive but that is the best way to travel with babies or toddlers because she's in the other room Sound machine can't hear us. And then we get to live our life for the. Live out. We're living our life without ply balls. Mm. If we had a normal room, we would be in bed whispering to each other. You wouldn't be watching. At like there would 7 be no PM. video. There would be no video. Yeah, exactly. There'd be no video. That's why it was so hard to film in New York because, well, anyway, I'm getting on on a tangent. Good night. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Cheers. Hey everyone, it is Thursday. We've been in Florida now almost a week. We've been spending time with Gabe's family every single day. It's been really nice. We also had a couple days where we did like annual family summit, it's called. It's like a big yearly meeting just between me and Gabe going through like finances and goals and like stuff to do with the family and travels and like going through everything for the whole this year, the whole 2024. So we did that here, which was really nice. Makaya had such great quality time with her cousins. Gotta make sure I don't forget my wet wipes. Gabe literally just bought those the other day. But it's kind of smart to travel with. Are you yeah. kidding me? Your butt will thank you. We are headed to Orlando. Makaya is taking a nap. We put her down an hour early just so she could nap before we had to check out. And now we are here packing. We are going to catch a train up to Orlando, which is like, I think it's fairly new. Yeah, they just built it. Like, I think last year it started running. And it looks really nice online, so should be good. It's faster than driving, not faster than flying, yeah, but... Yeah, technically it is faster than flying if you account for the time spent at the airport. At the airport. And and, and so. I agree. So, I hope it goes well. It would be really cool if Florida was at more of a... Um, terrain. Interesting terrain, yeah. Yeah. But it is very not... It's just flat. Unless you so, go to the dump. Then there's a really The big first hill. hill I saw, I was like, oh my gosh. It's and Gabe was like, it's a dump. Anyway, we're going to pack up. And then Makai's probably going to wake up soon-ish. And then we're going to head to the train. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> With a... <laughs> they're in. <laughs> they're here. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Kaya. Ready, Kaya? With a... <laughs> here and a... There, here, there, everywhere. <laughs> you are so silly. Kai, do you need dinner? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should go eat. It's Makai's bedtime. Hopefully we can check in and like go straight to a restaurant to get some food really quick before taking her to bed. But yeah, it's almost seven o'clock. We made it to our hotel. Makai just went to sleep. So I'll give you a very quiet room tour minus the bedroom. So we're at the Art of Animation, I think it's called. We're in the Lion King suite. So it's like the whole, this whole building is Lion King themed. So we've got a dining table here, but there's also an extra bed. So there's three beds in here total. Then we have a little bathroom with like Lion King stuff. Then in there is our bedroom and another bathroom. And then this is the living room. We set it up. The couch wasn't super comfy. And I was like, I bet the bed is comfier. And it is, isn't it? It's way comfier. Yes. But it's so cute. Like, Micaiah loved looking at these giraffes. And got a little kitchenette. We've got the TV going. So, everything is good. We're going to sit. I'm going to get some work done. Welcome to Disney. Okay, Micaiah is taking a nap. I thought I would show you guys some of the stuff that I brought on this trip. The weather has been really like a total roller coaster because in South Florida, it was way more hot. Now we're in Orlando and like a cold front has come through. So it's it's been in the 40s today. I placed an order before we left on ThreadUp. I realized ThreadUp is probably the main place that I've been getting my clothes for the past two years maybe. I really love it. It's such an easy place. If you have something specific in mind, like a sweatshirt or a free people sweater, I feel like I always talk about those, or there's so much on ThreadUp. It is the largest online thrift store. I love it. It's really easy to use, especially if you like use the search bar, Urban Outfitters shorts or something like that, like if you're really specific. So this is the first one I got. 
I was so happy to see that they had so much Disney stuff, like the Disney brand on ThreadUp. So I got Makaya some stuff. Yeah, I got this. This was brand new. It still had tags on. This will probably be one of my outfits to the parks. This is another Disney thing that I got. If we do have a warmer Disney day, I'll wear this. This is the next thing I got. I love this. It's a little, like, very comfy jumpsuit, I guess, from the brand Athleta, I think is how you say it. I also thought I would mention... I I have a bunch of favorites on ThreadUp. I'll leave the link and you can go look, but basically anything when I'm scrolling that I like, I'll click favorite and they made it public, which is so good. Basically, I shopped for my favorites when I was placing this order. I think this is really my favorite thing that I got. It's just like very flowy and comfy. I put it with this little short sleeve shirt, but when I go back to Nashville, I feel like this will be really nice with like a white long sleeve shirt and I can layer and yeah, I just really love it. Here is another thing I got. This is another favorite. This is from Petal and Pop, which I love this brand. So I was just searching through what thread up had of Petal and Pop stuff. And I found this. I've already worn this so many times this trip because it's still really nice and warm, but it's short. So like it's great for Florida winter. Thread up have given me a code. I will leave my link down below. It is Jess, and that will give you 40% off your first order. Such a great deal. So definitely use my code while I have it. Thank you so much, Thread Up, for sponsoring this video. You really have styled me for my whole Florida trip. Good morning. Don't mind, I still need to do my hair. Today is our first Disney day. It is 7.45. We are just gonna get Makai ready. She just got out of bed. And then my bestie, Jess, which if you've watched my videos for a long time, you definitely would have seen her know who she is. She's the best. She landed in Orlando last night from Australia. She works on the Disney Cruise Line and she has a couple days before she needs to go on the ship to go to Disney. That's why we're here. So she is gonna Uber to our hotel soon and then we're gonna shuttle together to the parks. Gabe and I slept on this. This is like in the living room. It's the pull-out sofa bed. We left Makaya in the like main bedroom by herself in her bed so she could get a good sleep and then so we could set an alarm. So we slept out here so we could set an alarm. We didn't have the best sleep. My body. I woke up, I told Gabe, I feel like I've aged. Like my body hurts. Anyway, I'm going to do my hair. We're just gonna get Makaya ready and go and then we're gonna try and get breakfast at the park. We're gonna go get her ready now. She's oh, I'm so curious to see how she reacts today. We've been prepping her a lot, showing her YouTube videos of the characters meeting people just to like show her how big they are because I was so scared of them. I don't know if I've said this already. I was so scared of them when I was a kid. Like anyone in a big like costume character thing, I was so scared of them. So we'll see. We've been trying to prep her. Anyway, it'll be a good day. And this is your first visit and Minnie's right there. Do you like this? I know. <laughs> she doesn't see you. We're having breakfast with a show. All right, we are headed to meet Minnie Mouse, Makaya's favorite. It'll be interesting to see if she loves it or hates it. But I'm excited. We got a little autograph book so she can get a little autograph. We just got back to the room and look how they, they like made the beds and stuff and they set up one of Makaya's books with a teddy reading it. That's yeah. so Disney. I was just telling Jess, it's like, it makes sense that they do that. They're probably trying to like recreate what Toy, Toy Story, Story is. Like That's so cute. It is the end of the night. We are back in our hotel room. Makaya is down. She was so tired by the end of the day. But I thought I would give a little recap because I'm not really sure how much I filmed throughout the day. It was really successful. Considering the fact that she only had 
a 45 minute nap in the middle of the day compared to usually she has like an hour and a half or two hours. She was so happy, like she had such a great day. Basically when it was time for her nap, someone had told us about the Hall of Presidents, I think it's called, and they were like, no one ever goes in there. Go in there and the baby will go to sleep. So Gabe took her in there and I was so shocked. He got her to sleep for like 45 minutes. Gabe just sat in like a really quiet, dark corner of the president's area. There also is like a baby care area that was gonna be our next shot if she didn't go down in the president's area. We did three rides. Surprisingly, we fit a lot in considering we like have a baby and she had a nap. So it was really good. Anyway, she's asleep. Gabe and I are exhausted. And we're going it again tomorrow. Jess is still at the park, living it up. We had the parents okay. that are just laying down. Gave Jess my Disney sweater that, that I showed in my thread up haul. She didn't expect Florida to be so cold because it's literally never cold. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can give you a Disney. And it, it was new with tags on, so she was pretty excited about that. Anyway, we're going to lay here and have a relaxing night. But we'll see you tomorrow for Animal Kingdom. Day two was honestly a little chaotic. As you can see from my hair, this was a good representation of how our day went. No, it was it was actually a lot of fun and Makaya still enjoyed herself. We went on the safari, which she loved. She loves animals. The thing that kind of was the most difficult was the nap. I went into their baby center and I was like, great, this is gonna be, you know, I thought it was gonna be a nursing room. There was a place, you know, with like change tables, but it was basically kind of like a little kids hangout room. So we did not get her to sleep in the baby center. I tried for an hour and then she ended up sleeping for like 30 minutes in her stroller. So that is what made the day difficult because she really does thrive on routine and her naps and stuff. So. We did get thrown off slightly, but she was still happy for the rest of the day. We saw lots of animals. We also went on the Triceratops spin. If you have a baby around her age, oh my gosh, she loved it. We She ended up going on twice and each time she just went more, more. She just wanted to keep going on it. She was not scared of the heights or anything at all. She just had such a great time. We did a little photo booth. It ended up being a really, really nice day. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging with us during our trip to Florida. I'm so excited to go back home and just get settled in, have home cooked meals again. And don't forget to use my code Jess for 40% off your first thread up order. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.